coming up the end of an era for a local music scene. After decades of singing the hits and hanging out with the likes of Johnny Cash, Garth Brooks, Dolly Parton, Willie Nelson, a Capital Region crooning couple going out on a high note. They first arrived on the local music scene in the 1960s, and since then they've played venues around the Capital Region and the world. Well, they palled around with the Supremes, Ray Charles, Vince Gill, Willie Nelson, but if you've never seen Wayne and Joey Anderson, your time to catch these classics is running short. Here's tonight's Upside Report. It's a Wednesday night at the Dizzy Chicken in Saratoga Springs. And the live music tonight sounds a little different than at most other places. Because this is a show. The Classics with Wayne and Joey Anderson. For many people, the duo needs no introduction. Both grew up in the Capital Region and sang publicly early on. Wayne on WABY, Country Anderson, and the Melody Mountain Boys every Saturday morning. And Joey, a regular performer alongside Boom Boom Brannigan. I Joey. named her. <laughs> you named her. Tiny, she, she yeah. can't believe. What was the this name? This was a tiny little blonde doll. Tell them what your name was, honey. Uh, at that time, it was... <laughs> At that time, it was cool, but uh, my name was Tiny Tina Orbit. When Wayne first saw Joey, he needed a female singer to join his band, and he passed on her. But the first time Joey saw Wayne singing and wearing cowboy boots, well, that was it. Was that what sold it? Was the boots? It was the boots. It was the boots. And I thought you were rich. <laughs> well, <laughs> that was 1973. They married in 74 and found success individually. Wayne with a hit single that took the couple to Nashville, and Joey with her day job, hairstylist to the stars. For Reba McIntyre, Ray Price, the Mandrells. Pictures with Dolly Parton, Garth Brooks, Johnny Cash, Willie Nelson, and lots of others accompany her to every performance. But it was music that brought them together, and together, they kept making music. After 13 years in Tennessee, they moved back to upstate New York and put a band together. Uh, we were five years into Gideon Putman, uh, four years out to Winslow's. Gigs up and down Broadway, concerts at Congress Park. Slowly, their repertoire, once current hits, became classics. The band gave way to recorded tracks. They started to feel older and the weather seemed colder, so they bought an RV and became snowbirds. It's fun and you're back in the motor home and you're back out on another show. Yeah. And then we, now we're loving Florida. But all the back and forth getting to be too much. The Wayne and Joey era in upstate New York is nearing an end. Well, it's sort of a bittersweet decision to, uh, we won't be returning uh, next year. This is our farewell. This is our farewell, this is our farewell, tour. farewell. Yeah. The news comes as a disappointment to loyal fans, many of them also snowbirds who vowed to catch the duo's performances in Florida, unwilling to let go of the music, the classics. We're losing so many great artists from the past. We got to keep that music alive. Who cares about the clouds and where the absolute last song will probably be a Roy Rogers and Dale Evans song. Great! Which is, oh, were you going to do it with me? <laughs> and that final performance is scheduled for next Sunday, October 28th at Winslow's in Wilton. For more info, go to our website, WNYT.com.